Good morning, everyone. Um, this uh, mogamolizumab, anti-CCF or monoclonal antibodies, extremely important because it is the first, um, uh, if approved, indication in the U.S. Uh, for any um, condition. And we're very excited that the Maverick study has um, concluded giving very positive results uh, and have been submitted to the FDA. And I got delayed coming here because the FDA just audited the lead center and it was very well done and the results are outstanding and very validated <laughs> by the FDA, at least at our center. I would like to make sure that I um, uh, credit the international um, community and all of the family and patients that have participated in the study up front and I represent all of them. The target for this mogamolizumab, the CC chemo, is CC chemokine receptor 4, CCR4, and it plays a very important immune um, balance role in life. It's expressed in Th2 and Treg cells, um, and it, it is involved in trafficking of T lymphocytes actually to the skin um, and um, other organs. It is also highly overexpressed and consistently so in ATL, PTCL, and cutaneous T cell lymphoma, and thus um, the subject um, of this antibody. Um, and mogamolizumab is a um, FC um, bioengineered enhanced. It removes the fucose, defucosylated antibody that augments the antibody dependent cell cytotoxicity, which is a mechanism of this um, antibody. It was based on the uh, phase one to two study uh, in CTCL that was already conducted in the US with a very promising efficacy profile of 37% overall response. And in this disease, it is f a very good response rate because all the FDA approved drugs are in the 30% range. Um, and also 95% response in the skin, so I mean the blood. So the blood compartments appears to have good response. Encouraging results led to the phase three randomized controlled trial Maverick, um, which was uh, completed and subject of this uh, presentation. And the primary endpoint is pr uh, progression-free survival. It is the largest study ever uh, in CTCL to be randomized and have PFS is endpoint. The eligibility was stage 1B to 4 uh, with um, confirmed diagnosis, and you have to have at least one prior therapy. Um, patients with large cell transformation was excluded. Patients was randomized one-to-one to, -one to mogamolizumab and to vernostat. Mogamolizumab was given one milligram per kilo IV. It's given weekly in the first month, and it goes to every um, two weeks thereafter. And both uh, arms were treated until disease progression, or um, if vernostat group has intolerable toxicity or progresses, they, there is a one-way crossover to get the active drug, uh, mogamolizumab. Patients in the Veronistat was treated accordingly to the U.S. prescribed um, and guidelines. It is an approved drug in the U.S. for this um, CTCL. There were, um, C CCR4 expression level was not required for eligibility for this study, and about 60 centers across 11 countries were um, involved in the study. The primary endpoint, as I mentioned, is uh, PFS, uh, using a very um, uh, vigorous, um, comprehensive, composite, global. You have to uh, group all the compartments together um, to have a response. Uh, and the key secondary endpoints included uh, ORR, uh, duration of response, and patient reported quality of life, uh, as well as the crossover response and safety. And there were independent review um, groups that had reviewed the investigator data. Um, the two arms in Mogamolizumab and Vorinostat were very well balanced. In total, 372, 186 each were enrolled. And as I said, this is the largest U.S. study for this orphan disease. Um, took over uh, three years to um, enroll. Um, the two groups were very well balanced in terms of stage MF versus Cesare syndrome. And the median prior therapy was three, systemic treatment. Um, this is the primary endpoint, which was 7.7 .7 months in the MOGA and the 3.1 month in the Verinostat, uh, with a strikingly impressive uh, superior result in MOGA with a p-value of 0.0001. 
Also, the overall response rate in the MOGA was about 30 percent, with Voronostat only 5 percent. Uh, in the Cesare syndrome, the response rate is higher as expected, 37 percent over uh, Voronostat of only 2 percent. And these are confirmed global composite response of all the compartments, skin, lymph node, blood, viscera, they're all um, integrated into this response criteria. So it's not just skin response. Duration of response is expected greater in mogamolizumab, and the quality of life was much better in the mogamolizumab arm. So in summary, this is the first report of a randomized phase three study evaluating the PFS as a primary endpoint in CTCL to compare a new systemic therapy against an FDA-approved agent utilizing a consensus comprehensive global response criteria. Mogamolizumab, a novel CCR4 uh, targeting antibody therapy, demonstrated significantly superior efficacy outcomes compared to vorinostat in patients with previously treated CTCL. The PFS, 7.7 .7 months versus 3.0 months, uh, was p-value of 0 0.001 significance. Um, o overall response was again highly superior with a similar striking um, uh, significance of 28 versus 5%. Uh, patient reported outcome using the uh, tools that are used, Skindex 29 factory, were demonstrated significant improvement in mogamolizumab arm. And overall safety profile, there was no surprises in the mogamolizumab. It is approved in Japan for ATL, PTCL, and CTCL in Japan. Um, thus, uh, it has been used there, and there was no uh, new surprising AE profiles that was detected in this uh, randomized trial. Um, and Verinostad um, was as well. And any side effect was very manageable. The study supports mogamolizumab as a valuable new therapeutic option in the patients with CTCL. And we're very excited, um, and we hope that this drug will be approved early next year um, to add to the limited options that we have in our patient population. Thank you.